Hi there, my name is Mark and this is Jeremy and we're here to talk to you today about the Microsoft Graph Excel API. Jeremy, could you tell me what we can do with Excel inside of Microsoft Graph? Sure, it's really cool. I think as a developer I used to kind of grab the Excel spreadsheet, download mm -hmm. it to my server, manipulate some stuff with some com objects and then re-upload the Excel file right. back to OneDrive or SharePoint. Right. With these Excel APIs you can manipulate that worksheet without ever leaving the fact that it's in OneDrive or SharePoint, which is awesome. Wow, that sounds great. So so does the file actually have to be in OneDrive or SharePoint before I can do anything with the Excel That is API? a good one, yep. So it has to be in there OneDrive for SharePoint or uh, OneDrive for business or SharePoint Drive files. And as long as it's in there, much like if you're using the OneDrive API of Microsoft Graph, right. you can basically access the worksheets, the charts, the tables, and manipulate the data in those things as well. I see. And so what sorts of things can I actually do with the Excel API then? Yeah, so I mean, other than the quick like get sheets and get table, mm -hmm. get charts that I just mentioned, um, the ability to automatically like trigger and call functions to add data to sheets mm -hmm. or uh, manipulate existing data in the sheets. Right. But you can also do things like add charts, so mm -hmm. dynamically like look at data in a series and go, you know what, we're going to have a chart based on this series, mm -hmm. and here are the settings for that chart, and automatically create that in the sheet again Got without it. the user ever interacting with it. Got it. Um, and then I think the coolest thing I found out there is. Um, a lot of people have custom functions. There's mm -hmm. a lot of business decisions yeah. made with Excel. Yeah. And so the ability to re-trigger a function that's baked into that sheet um, and then pass in the parameters to that function right. and trigger that for an API call is really awesome as well. Got it. So can I run any function inside of Excel or is there, there just is a limited a, There is a limited yeah. section and it's uh -huh. kind of an it depends which is in the docs. Yeah. Um, but it definitely gives you enough to get going in terms of being able to take advantage of all that work you've spent years building these powerful right. sheets and being able to kind of tap into them yeah. um, remotely through yeah. an Azure function or an Azure app service or right. even a web application you're running. Great. Can we see a demo? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So yeah, so this is really cool. If I go into my OneDrive for Business here and a demo tenant I have, you'll see I've just created the new Excel worksheet and if I or workbook, sorry, and if I launch that, just to give you a quick idea, it's just a simple simple Excel file here with a table and then a chart that just shows you how much everyone loves the graph and who not who knows who that one percent is but I needed an extra slice in that pie for sure. Now to access that uh, essentially I can go and use Graph Explorer inside of graph.microsoft.com and uh, just take note of the, the file name I have here. Uh, you would have seen from the OneDrive videos that if I just run all items in my drive that if I scroll down here uh, you'll actually see that there is an item called workbook one right below the PNG in this folder. Um, and so you see it's book.xlsx and all I need to grab is the ID of that file. Um, and the reason you need to do that is, is if I go over to show more samples here and just launch, I can turn the Excel one on. Um, we have a few out of the box ones. So for instance, I can say what worksheets are in my workbook. Now, Graph Explorer doesn't know what workbook you want to look at, but I can go and add that drive item ID in there. Um, so I'm looking at this particular one and it's inside of its workbook functions and I just want to see what worksheets come back. And what that will do is it will return that there is actually only one sheet in here at the moment. But for instance, I can come down here and I can do add new worksheet, which is a post command and again, I'll just need to put that ID back in, which is still in my pasteboard. And that way you can see here, we've got workbook worksheets again. And then in this sheet, I can just say my new sheet and click one run query. And that will actually again say that it was a 201 response. It's given me the name of the sheet back as the position and whether it's visible or not. And I even have an ID of that worksheet that I can use later on. But just to prove to you that actually works, if I just refresh this now, um, you'll see that not only do we have one sheet down the bottom here, we have that my new sheet down the bottom too. Now, again, I can kind of do more advanced features than just creating sheets. I'm going to go through and just create another sheet, which we're going to call sheet two, just for the purposes of um, getting things through my demo. And what you'll notice is there's a, yet yeah, a different way of querying these things. So I'm just going to go back to another cheat sheet of URLs where I don't need to use the the GUI of the actual workbook itself. I can just use this special syntax and just to um, zoom in so that's more, uh, more obvious here if I just scroll over. Um, basically I'm in, in the root folder of my drive 
and I'm just using colon forward slash and then the file name and then colon, um, semicolon, sorry, uh, forward slash there as well. And what you'll see then is if I run this query, it'll basically give me the same thing without needing the ID. And you'll see here that it's showing who created it, which is my admin demo account. Um, and it'll even go to the point of showing me that because I've made some changes to this document from inside a Graph Explorer, it's actually highlighting that there was an application ID used, which is the Graph Explorer application ID to modify those, those sheets. So you get a lot of power inside of this, this, um, this API. But I can also do things like, again, I can go grab the, the worksheet itself. So if I just come in here and paste and click Run Query, what you'll see here is, is that it's going to show me that I have that sheet one, which was in there when I first created the workbook, the My New Sheet and the Sheet 2 are all examples of sheets that have been created just by doing the worksheets and then just showing that you just want to get the names back um, for each of the sheets that it finds in that collection. And then likewise, if I come here, there is some really neat things you can do around some values. So I'm going to go in and change this to a patch command. And then same deal, I've got the, the book.xlsx. And then I'm going into the worksheet, into that sheet 2 that I've created, and around the range of A1 to C7. And then I have this little JSON section here, where if I select all these things, I've provided some values, and in the first row I'm providing labels, and the second two rows I'm providing some data. And when I click Run here, um, what that's actually going to go away and do, again I get my status code of 200, is it's going to go and created those, those particular columns with all that data. And just to show you what that looks like, if I go over and just click Refresh here, and look at Sheet 2, uh, you'll now see that that data has been created directly in my spreadsheet. And I can do that with new data, I can do that with updating existing values, or by kind of navigating through labels and kind of addresses that you're familiar with if you used Excel before. So Graph Explorer is a great way to get going inside of the Excel samples here. And you can see here that we even have things like being able to run triggers and so forth. So some really cool stuff you can do with Excel without ever having the Excel file locally in your Azure function or in your client side application at all. Wow, that's awesome, Jeremy. Thank right. you so much for showing me the, the demo of Excel. And you can access this and lots more inside the Microsoft Graph API. And please join us at graph.microsoft.com. Thank you.